Hey, what's going on everyone? Christian Carter uh, over here with Radius Financial Group. And today I am talking about a seller credit and exactly how it works. Now, a seller credit can also be called a seller concession. It means the same thing. Um, also, if you hear anyone say, um, yeah, I wrapped my closing costs into the loan amount, this is exactly how they did it, okay? We're going to use easy numbers throughout this whole thing, okay? So let's say you find a home. <clears throat> it's worth about $100,000, right? And that's what the seller wants to net. That's what he wants to get for um, the sale of his or her home. Now, let's say your closing costs are five thousand dollars, right? And you want to come up with the, you want to come to the closing table with the least amount of money as possible, right? Out of pocket expenses. So what you would do in this, in this scenario, you would offer one hundred and five thousand dollars for the home, right? But in that offer, you would say it's contingent upon a $5,000 seller credit or seller concession. Same exact thing. So this is essentially what happens. If the seller is looking to walk away from the closing table with a $100,000 check, and you offer him $105,000 with a $5,000 seller credit, he essentially walks away from the table with his $100,000 check. Because... You're purchasing the home for $105,000. However, the seller needs to credit $5,000 towards your closing costs. So this is a real simple way um, of rolling the closing costs into the loan amount. I hope that made sense. Now, if we go over to this side, how does it affect your monthly mortgage payment, right? So let's say um, you have a 30-year mortgage at a 4% interest rate, right? With this first example, if you want to pay your own closing costs, you offer $100,000 for the property, right? So that comes out to a monthly uh, principal and interest payment of $477, right? Now look at this next scenario, a 30-year mortgage at 4%, same, same loan term, same rate. Now, you want the seller to pay your closing costs for you. So therefore, you're going to pay $5,000 more for the home, however, at the closing table, you'll have to come up with $5,000 less, right? So the monthly payment on this, principal and interest, is going to be $501 per month. So essentially how this, how everything that we talked about here, um, if, you want to, if you want to lower your cash to close, you know, the amount of money um, that you'll be required to bring to the closing table, and you want to use a seller credit, it's going to cost you a little bit every month, but you'll be able to spread that $5,000 or whatever your closing costs are over the, um, over the length of the 30 year term or whatever your mortgage terms are. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime. And if you have any ideas for a new video, please let me know. I'm always looking to uh, explain this stuff. Have a great day.